Tornado victims in the Dallas-Fort Worth area are picking up the pieces this afternoon after a string of tornadoes just went across the region yesterday. The damage is extensive, too, but no one was killed. It's a miracle. NBC's Jay Gray is in the suburb of Lancaster with the very latest. First light reveals the magnitude of the damage here. Miles of splintered wood, twisted metal, and shattered glass left behind by as many as a dozen tornadoes that ripped across this metropolitan area of more than six million. This is ridiculous. The whole house is gone. But somehow none of the residents are. No one was killed as the violent storms cut through the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I started rumbling and I started praying, to be honest with you. It's a miracle we're alive. As they pour through the wreckage and debris, many are uncovering stories of survival. It knocked me down and then I dove in my house, literally, the front door was open and I, um, I just hit the deck. Under our stairs is a bathroom and that's where we go. And that bathroom is still standing. This is all that's left of Chris Wilson's home. The stairs lead to the second floor that was torn away. My wife could have been in the bedroom. As you see, it's gone. My son could have been upstairs in his room. That room is gone. Well, I think I'm still kind of in shock. Nicole Lawrence and her sons hid in a bathtub. She was on the phone with her husband when the twister hit. Just imagine what you would think if you know your whole family's in your house and you hear an explosion and then you can't get a hold of them. It's probably the worst feeling you could ever have. A feeling that so many lived through during the storms, but that's the key here. They're all still alive and now trying to gather the pieces of those lives left after the storm while struggling to start a very long and difficult recovery. A process that includes structural engineers and teams going through homes like this one across neighborhoods in North Texas before those who lived here can come back in. Jay Gray, NBC News, Lancaster, Texas.